Hi, I'm Paul Spooner, and this is an in-depth review of the fantasy book Chronicles of Everfall, Shadow of the Conqueror by Shad M. Brooks. I'm not going to read the entire article because it's 19,000 words and that would take like over two hours. Uh, that's way too long. So instead, I'm just going to do a brief summary of the things I thought and how I liked it. So as you know, uh, Shad is a, a YouTube personality. He uh, does a lot of stuff on uh, the internet and on YouTube especially, and he does a lot of critique, a lot of uh, thoughtful analysis, and he is uh, interested in things making sense and being internally consistent. And uh, so I thought that I would apply those principles, since he uh, professes to value them himself, to his book. Uh, so I bought a copy of his book, and uh, in doing this review, I, I went over some of the things that he said in other places about writing and uh, listened to a few of his book review uh, or writing review segments where he reviews other people's work. And I found that uh, he says that he is not a poet himself. And I thought that that was pretty apt. Uh, in reading his book, it's not poetic. It's not uh, eloquent. Uh, the writing is not great. It's passable in most places. There are a few places where it's it's actually quite bad. Um, but his dialogue is strong, and, and as he says himself, his, his characters are, are interesting and, and good. Uh, Chad just recently released a, a video saying that he's going to be on convalescence for about a month, and I figured that now would be an ideal time for him to take uh, a couple hours to read this review and uh, perhaps get a few pointers from it. So I'm making this video, and uh, I sent him an email through his website uh, saying that I'd like him to read this, and I wrote this thing for him, and you know, if it'd be helpful. Uh, hidden her, her back. Obviously, he's busy and you know he has a lot to do. But I figured maybe now would be a good time for him to to do this. So this is just kind of a teaser of the things that I thought. So he he says that he values the work of Brandon Sanderson, and Sanderson has uh, some lectures on strategies for writers. And one of the lectures is it's lecture number two in his 2013 uh, lecture series on YouTube, and it's show don't tell. And um, and there is a lot of show don't tell problems with the uh, Chronicles of Everfall, Shadow of the Conqueror. So um, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna go into the details here. It's just that's the first section is like, hey, there's a bunch of just you know good writing kind of stuff that he falls short of, which okay, uh, it's his first novel. But the other thing is that is he he very frequently says that this isn't his first novel, that this is the ninth novel he's written or, or something like that, where he's uh, been practicing and practicing and improving his craft until now he feels like it's good enough. And it's like, well, I, I don't know. I don't feel like it's good enough yet. I mean, I'm not sorry that I read the book, so maybe it is good enough, but especially when he's aware of the principle of show, don't tell, uh, it's hard to overlook it. So. Uh, that's that. Then there's uh, the issue of the main character himself, uh, Dalen. He seems like a Marty Stu. He's just so overpowered. Uh, he has lots of different uh, abilities and they're all better than everyone else. Uh, I've got a big long list of all the things where he's just better than everyone. And while it's possible, I mean like there are some people who are just better than everyone else at, at everything. Um, but it's not foreshadowed in a convincing way and he doesn't behave in a way that would I don't know. I wasn't convinced that it was a, a genuinely superior character. It felt more like it was a convenient plot device for the author to solve problems by just saying, well, you know, Dalen can do this and Dalen can do that. And it's like, well, yeah, you gotta, you gotta convince me. And I wasn't convinced. So that's another whole section uh, talking about Dalen and how uh, he seems like a Marty Stew. He seems overpowered. Uh, and then there's a whole section about Dalen has supposed to be this terrible person and he's supposed to be this horrible war criminal. And so I go over in depth all of the different ways in which he thinks that he has failed. And then uh, my analysis of whether or not those are actually moral failings, in my view. And uh, most of them are not. Uh, there are a few that are genuine moral failings, I think. but. Because he seems to berate himself so frequently for things that aren't actually problematic, uh, it comes off as angsty. It's not really... I don't know. I didn't like that aspect either. So, 
Uh, then we get to the setting. Uh, the setting of Everfall and uh, the my summary for my view on the setting is that it's overreaching. It's uh, It was attempting too much. There's, I think, what did I count? Seven or eight really significant differences between the canonical universe in which we find ourselves, real life, and this other setting, this fantasy setting. And usually one or two is plenty in order to have an exploration of you know, what is life like and, and to kind of not overwhelm yourself having to think through all the implications of the things that you're changing. So, um, Chad, I feel like was just trying too much and uh, he has a lot of differences. They're all interesting and I thought that they uh, they could have been well, well put together, but it didn't actually convince me that he had thought through how the world would actually work. Uh, because I found a number of problems with the way that he presented the world and uh, how it seems like there wasn't enough thought put into what the implications of all the changes, all the all the departures from reality that uh, he's made. And so, like I said at the beginning, uh, this isn't... I'm not trying to be mean. I'm, I'm trying to apply the principles that Chad himself says he values and uh, internal consistency and, uh, and the world making sense is one of those things, and so I felt like uh, it would be appreciated to give him a clear view of the ways in which I felt that he had fallen short of that ideal. So, as I said at the beginning, it's not terrible, uh, but it would have been good to have a better technical execution, a more believable main character, and less ambitious world building. I was gonna say that I'm looking forward to the next book, but I don't know if I am. Uh, there's so many problems with the Chronicles of Everfall setting that unless there's some serious retconning going on or uh, maybe some really brilliant descriptions of exactly how these things work, uh, it's going to be hard for me to really enjoy the setting moving forward. But we shall see. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed my review and uh, I'll leave a link to the whole article in the description so that you too can while away the hours reading my review of Shad M. Brooks' Chronicles of Everfall, Shadow of the Conqueror. Thank you, and good night.